So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it's time for you to bring you the best players on career mode. I'm not going to lie, that is essentially what this is. These are the top players in terms of potential on FIFA 18 career mode. I guess you could say the best wonder kids on the entire game and there are some ridiculous players. You're going to know all of them but I'm still going to bring them to you regardless because you, you, know, you might not know what their actual potentials are but all of these guys are going to be world class on the game. They all has the potential to be special in terms of status on the game. If you go on to enjoy this video then of course make sure to slap the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel for the 10 above 90 overall or oh, 90 potential players featured in this video but in at number 10 we've got Ezekiel Barco the Argentinian winger from Independiente this guy had a potential of 88 back on FIFA 17 and they boosted it even more they thought you know what this guy might have a potential of 88 but it needs to be higher so they've now boosted it to 90 72 overall can play as a left mid or a central mid 18 years of age good passing penalties dribbling ball control and shot power but his pace really is his best attribute good traits being finesse shot and technical dribbler as well so he's a very close controlled dribbler of the ball and he shouldn't lose the ball too easily and on top of that he's got four star skill moves as well his preferred foot is left five foot six and medium attacking and defensive work rate for the Argentinian who if he's as good in real life as the game says he is then I'm sure he'll be finding himself playing in Europe very shortly but Ezekiel Barco then in at number 10 for the Wonder Kids in this video at number nine, we've got the literal traditional wonder kid, the man who's been everyone's first pick to buy on a career mode since seemingly FIFA 06. It is Yuri Tielemon of Monaco, 80 rated, centre mid slash attacking mid, and this guy can just do everything. He's got good long passing, curve, short passing, long shots and shot power, as well as ball control, crossing, dribbling, finishing, free kick accuracy. His um, athleticism is good apart from his pace. Really, the only thing this guy doesn't have is really high pace. That is basically it. His traits are long pass out and long shot taker. I actually remember seeing this guy at score two absolute worldies from outside the area for Anderlecht in the same game before he signed for Monaco, of course. I forgot to mention that. He's just signed for Monaco, 20 years of age. Unfortunately, because he's just signed for Monaco, you won't be able to sign him in the first transfer window, but after that, you should be fine. Five-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, and medium attacking and defensive work rate on that guy. At number eight, we've got Thomas Lamar, again from Monaco. He managed to survive the purge that the Monegasque side had. Acceleration, sprint speed, agility, and balance, all dark green with 82 vision as well. Good at jumping and stamina at two. Onto the technicals page, good ball control, crossing, dribbling, and shot power. Free kick accuracy, curve, and short passing also very high for the 83 overall Frenchman. Left midfielder and 21 years of age for the man from Monaco. He's got 91 potential, so slightly better than Tielemont and Barco, who had 90 before him. His traits are technical dribbler and set play specialist, as you can see on the screen. So get him on your free kicks, basically. Get him on your corners, etc., and he will do a job. Skill moves aren't great and weak for aren't great as isn't great even as well only three star two star which might be a little bit of a hitch on that one but high attacking work rate is always good for a attacking player and at number seven we've got Bernardo Silva of Manchester City and ex Monaco so he's left the team that we just saw Thomas Lamar for and he's now joined Manchester City I have three players actually in this chart with the Portuguese winger 84 overall very good ball control as well as dribbling and short passing long passing finishing crossing and shot power are pretty good as as well as curve strength is slightly lacking stamina a little bit as well but his pace of course is very good as his agility is as well he's got two traits two flair and technical dribbler interesting logo there on flair that's clearly taken from Paul Pogba four star skill moves though for the 22 year old Manchester City winger and he's got medium attacking and defensive work right he is left footed though so he, if you're going to play him on the right then expect him to cut inside and shoot from the channels or the flanks or whatever and his summary his best attributes are athleticism and uh, technical as well. After that, we've got his German teammate. This is Leroy Sane, again with 91 potential, much like Bernardo Silva before him. 93 acceleration and 94 sprint speed with 89 agility and 82 balance. Also in dark green in terms of his attributes are ball control, dribbling and curve, so you can obviously tell the type of player that he is. Relatively versatile, can play as a left winger, right winger or left midfielder, so basically on either wing. 21 years of age, and as 
I mentioned, 91 potential on this guy. He's 82 overall at the start of the game, is the German. Flair is his one and only trait, but still, you're going to get a lot of skill from this guy and a lot of flair. A lot of good dribbling ability as well. This guy generally is just an absolute hero. I mean, he scored an incredible goal against the team that I support, being Liverpool, and you just have to sit back and be like, this kid's just amazing. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. His height is six foot, left-footed, and high attacking work rate as well. Moving on, though, at number five, we've got the first 92 potential player. This is Marco Asensio of Real Madrid. 87 composure and 83 vision are the best on that first page there being in the mental mental tab even and look at the amount of dark green on his technicals ball control dribbling finishing shot power long shots curve long pass short passing all absolutely amazing decent crossing free kick accuracy and volleys as well this guy has been scoring worldies for fun for Real Madrid this season his traits are long shot taker and takes finesse free kicks 84 overall he has been in a, on another level for Real Madrid this season four star skill moves on a Asensio, who's very versatile as well, can play as a number 10 and on both wings as well. Medium attacking and defensive work rate. Left-footed, although his weak foot is three-star, so not too bad. Wouldn't be too bad on his right foot, but I've seen him so uh, score plenty of top bin long shots with his left foot, so definitely watch out for that. At number four, we've got Usman Dembele, Barcelona's new signing. 93 acceleration on this guy, as well as ridiculous agility, balance, sprint speed, reactions, and vision for the Frenchman, who's just, of course, signed from Barcelona. So for Barcelona even, from Borussia Dortmund. 21 years of age is Oud Ousmane, can play on both wings and as a cam. Very good dribbling, 92 there, ball control and shot power as well being very good for him. Five star weak foot though and five star skill moves, the crucial things about Ousmane Dembele who also has two traits being flair and technical dribbler, but yeah, look at that. Five star, five star. It's just disgusting, quite frankly, isn't it? It's utterly disgusting, if I'm being honest. High attacking work rate as well. The, I mean, the kid takes free kicks with both feet, and it just it just depends on his mood. So that's how good his weak foot is. It's quite infuriating for someone like me who has a literal. I mean, I, I, I might as well not have a left foot, but yeah, it's frustrating seeing Usman Dembele that good. But he is a wonder kid. 92 potential for him. Same as Gabi Jesus, who comes in at number three as well ridiculous uh, physicals page there as well pace agility all sorts dribbling of course very high finishing very high obviously and ball control similarly decent shot power long shots curve penalties and short passing for the Brazilian striker playing for Manchester City in the Premier League 92 potential though as I mentioned traits are the same as Usman Dembele's being flair and technical dribbler and you can see that his athleticism is very high overall being 82 four star skill moves four star weak foot for Gabriel Jesus who of course signed for Manchester City last season and has been almost keeping Aguero out of the team at various points. High attacking and defensive work rate, left footed. I mean, he's just a dream, and he? he's just an absolutely ridiculous player, but he isn't as good as this man in terms of potential. This is in at number two, Gianluigi Donnarumma of AC Milan, 82 overall and 94 potential. I'm pretty sure that's illegal in some countries. Uh, diving is, I think, 88 from what I can read. Very good reflexes as well. Handling slightly lower, but still decent. Same for positioning. Kicking is quite low at 72 but let's be honest that is literally the least important of all the goalkeeping attributes so it doesn't really matter too much 18 years of age 82 at the start of the game but 94 potential like that would basically i think that would make him like the best goalkeeper ever as far as fifa is concerned he rushes out a goal and comes for crosses as well are his goalkeeping traits uh, looking at his information it doesn't matter too much in terms of his skill moves and etc or work rates for that matter but three star weak foot and very very tall six foot five he's basically going to fill the frame of the entire goal but in at number one unsurprisingly it is the man of the moment Kylian Mbappe Lottin who is currently wearing a Monaco shirt I'm not entirely sure why because obviously he signed for PSG on loan for a season technically but they are going to sign him at the end of that loan period 87 ball control very good dribbling as well as finishing obviously being ridiculously high for him very good pace and agility as you'll have seen from the physicals page as well finesse shot and technical dribbler are his two traits for the 18 year old Frenchman who, as I mentioned, technically belongs to Monaco still, but what a season this guy had. I mean, 
I can't think of many players that have really burst on the scene like Kylian Mbappe in really recent years, to be honest. There's just none. There's absolutely none. Like, this kid is... The amount of hype surrounding this guy is ridiculous at the moment. Four-star skill moves for him. Four-star weak foot and high. Attacking work rate as well for Kylian Mbappe Lottin, who is the number one best wonder kid on the game. Although, technically, his potential is joint with Donnarumma. Uh, it's just that Mbappe Lottin has a better overall at the start of the game. But technically, they are both the best wonder kids on the game. The highest potential players on FIFA 18 career mode coming in at a pretty hefty 94, which I think I the only player I can think that's had a higher potential than that recently is Neymar, who had a 95 on, was it FIFA 17, I think? So, yeah, pretty ridiculous for Mbappe and for Donnarumma as well. And those are your best wonder kids on FIFA 18 career mode. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to slap a like on it, because that is basically the end, I'm afraid to say, ladies and gentlemen. But do not fear, there'll be plenty more videos coming out on the channel in the near future. I've been doing double uploads recently, and that'll be continuing for as long as I've got ideas in my head um, that need to be uploaded twice a day. If you have enjoyed, though, as I mentioned, slap a like on the video, because it really helps me out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well for similar content like this as well as a Bournemouth career mode and plenty of other stuff that's going to be going on on the channel over the coming months. I'm very excited for what's going down. I hope you guys are hyped for it as well because yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a journey. There's a lot of things going on, but it's going to be a journey. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. You can also follow me on Twitter though. My handle is on the screen. It is at the official FNG and my Instagram is exactly the same at the official FNG over there as well and links to both are in the description below. But it's been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Yo, I roll out with some monsters. Looks like your team and you watches. I do no roll with imposters. Sound like the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's. I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch you f me so hard. I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie, especially if it is crushes. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop it.